searching for exercises to help your shoulders stay healthy, then this video is for you. I'm Margo Alvarez, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe, turn the notifications bell on and leave a comment. We're gonna get started. All you're gonna need today is a bench and a set of light plates. That could be two and a half fives. We could even actually leave that out if need be, depending on where you're at fitness wise or exercise wise. All right, let's get started. First exercise, we're actually gonna start on the bench and we're gonna be at an angle where I have my right leg up on the bench, created an A or a V, upside down V, excuse me. <laughs> and then your elbow is gonna be on the inside of that knee here. You're gonna start with the palm on top of the elbow. Your other arm can be behind you here if you want support. You're gonna slowly lower that hand all the way to the bottom of the end range of motion, think internal rotation. Then you're gonna slowly elevate and bring the arm up. So nothing super crazy in terms of movement pattern. If I drop that weight, it looks like this. I'm starting vertically, wrist on top of elbow, I'm gonna lower all the way down, and then raise that hand, finishing on top of my wrist. So I am going to perform, to start off, five repetitions of this external rotation. Then I'm gonna switch and do five repetitions on the other side. If you're new, I recommend just starting out with just your body weight, seeing how that feels. Then from there, you can add a little weight, two and a half, five, et cetera. But remember that elbow and wrist are what you're looking to have start off with in terms of that sack position, rotate down as much as you can, and then go all the way up. Now, again, if you are doing these exercises with no weight and they feel good, you can add a little bit of weight, two and a half, fives, and go from there. You're gonna do five sets on each, five reps on each arm, and we're gonna do five sets of that. Once you wrap that up, we're gonna get to our second exercise, which is going to require a little bit of weight if you can. If not, I'll show the body weight variation as well. And again, if you guys are new here, I'd love your support by subscribing and sharing this with others to hopefully help others with their shoulder and their fitness journey. All right, let's get started. Belly and chest are gonna lay on the bench here. Then from there, I'm gonna take the plates and actually lay them on the ground. I'm going to lay down so my rib cage, the top of my rib cage diaphragm is almost at the edge of the bench here. I'm gonna flex my toes, that allows me to hold on, gives me a self and hold stability. I'm gonna demonstrate this, just my body weight, uh, so no weights in my hands, then we'll go weight version. So arms are gonna start out, out in front, extended, just outside your shoulders, palms facing in. I'm gonna bring my hands in two together, like my palms and forearms are facing each other. Then I'm gonna create a W, bringing my shoulders back, Elbows are down versus elbows up, elbows down. Then I'm gonna reach my fingers nice and long, arms extended, then bring them back down to the ground. Then I'll come back to center and then repeat that. You're gonna start off with 10 reps. Now, if you're new and you've never done this, highly recommend starting with just your body weight. I did this for many, many weeks and months, strengthening the back sides of my shoulders. Then once you feel comfortable, you'll grab the two and a half, same thing. I'm going to pull my arms in, create that W, squishing the shoulder blades back together, elbows down, reaching the arms nice and long, and then straighten, and then come back down to center. Again, two, you're gonna do 10 reps, and you're gonna perform two rounds of this exercise. I've been incorporating it for many, many months now, and my shoulder, specifically my rotator cuff, has gotten stronger. The pinching has decreased. There's still some other things going on in there for myself, but again, this is my personal experience of what I've found, but I highly recommend incorporating these two exercises to help strengthen your rotator cuff, but also help strengthen that external rotation that will give you some more definition, but also keep your shoulders very healthy. If you found this beneficial, please feel free to leave a comment below. Let me know what you want to see more of and share this video to hopefully help others out there. Thank you guys so much.